Hello, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I am doing a test flight on my new Eashin E511S drone. Uh, I've been wanting a, a better drone for quite some time. Uh, I have a little uh, Sima uh, X5E, uh, nice little drone. Uh, it has a 420p camera and takes pretty decent pictures and videos, but it's just a hard to control. It only has a range of about, I don't know, 100 feet, and I've been wanting a better drone for quite a while, and I did a lot of research. I, I set my, my price limit at uh, 100 bucks uh, because I didn't want to put a lot in a drone, but I wanted a drone that uh, was GPS. I wanted a drone that had return home features. I wanted a drone that had a, a camera that you could control from the uh, remote control. I also wanted a drone that had uh, FPV, which is first person view, so that I could uh, uh, hook up the, the drone to the app on my uh, smartphone and uh, see what the camera was seeing as I flew the drone. Uh, I wanted a drone that had um, a pretty decent range, and I wanted a drone with at least a 1080p camera. And this drone has all that. This drone also has a follow me mode. You can set it to uh, follow you, and as you walk, it will follow you wherever you go, as long as you have your phone in your hand. Uh, it also has an orbit mode. You can set the mode or the drone uh, on orbit mode, and it will uh, fixate on a point, whatever point you set or, or yourself, and it will slowly orbit around you, uh, uh, training the camera on the points you set or you whatever. It also has uh, waypoints so that you can uh, choose the, uh, the route of the drone and um, it will automatically fly the route that you choose. Um, it has um, a camera that you can control uh, from the, uh, the app or from the remote control. You can tilt the camera up, tilt the camera down. Uh, like I said, it is a GPS drone. It hooks up. This one's hooked up today to 18 satellites, and it really makes for a, a stable flight to have that many satellites. Plus, it has an automatic return to home on it, so if you get too far out and uh, you lose signal from the controller, uh, the drone recognizes that, and it automatically takes over and returns home, and it will actually return home and land. Uh, it has um, a low battery alarm on it. Uh, when the battery gets low, the uh, remote control begins to uh, beep and you can bring the drone back. Or once the drone gets down to 20% battery, the drone takes over itself and it will automatically return home and land so that you know you run out of battery, you don't crash it somewhere on the way back. It will bring itself back and it will land. Uh, it also has headless mode on it, which is a nice feature. Uh, the camera is a 1080p camera. Uh, it takes really good uh, video. It also takes very good uh, photographs. Um, so far, and I've only flown it once. I flew, flew it at home a couple of times, uh, just in the little field out behind my house, but I didn't have a lot of room to play with it. So I brought it up here at the church today. Today's Sunday, uh, March the 14th. Uh, it's about two o'clock in the afternoon. And I brought it up here to the church today to uh, to just see what kind of range and what kind of altitude I could get from it. Uh, the altitude that I've had it up to today is about 250 feet. When I get to about 250 feet, I get the altitude warning, which is a series of beeps from the remote control uh, that lets me know that I've reached the peak altitude. If I go up any higher, um, the drone will automatically disconnect from the remote control and it will return back and land. Uh, so far, I've had it out uh, a distance of about um, 350 to 400 feet so far. Uh, it's supposed to have a distance of about uh, 300 meters, which is about 900 feet, uh, and it's supposed to have a, um, a ceiling height of about 80 meters, which is 240 feet. But like I said, I've had it up to 250 feet today. The app on the phone actually has distance and altitude, so you can follow that. Uh, the, the remote um, does everything. You don't need your phone to fly, but you can fly it with just the app on the phone. Um, but the remote has everything. I mean, you can start the video recording. You can take snapshots with the remote. You can uh, uh, tilt the camera up and down just using the remote. You can do that from the uh, app on the phone also. Um, 
uh, the remote control has the one touch feature to return home. It has automatic takeoff on it with one button touch. It has automatic landing on it with one button touch. Uh, as I said, it has headless, headless mode. Uh, and it's very, very stable. It's a little, it's a little breezy out here today, but I think you can see from the video that um, it, it flies pretty stable and takes good stable video. Now it does not have um, the electronic uh, onboard stabilization in the camera. I wanted that, but uh, to get that also, I was going to have to go up to the next higher model drone. It's going to run me another 25, 30 bucks. And again, I had set my uh, my limit at $100. Uh, this drone shipped to me was 98 bucks and 73 cents, I think, which was pretty good. Uh, I also uh, got two batteries with this drone, so um, I'm going to get a, a good long flight time. Now, they, they say this drone gets about 16 minutes of flight time. So far, I've only gotten about 12, but I have to say that it's I, I'm not really accustomed to setting the drone up. By the time I, I get the uh, uh, satellites connected and and uh, get the compass calibrated on the drone and get my phone app Wi-Fi hooked up to the drone and those kind of things. I'm fooling around with it with the drone on for about five minutes. So once I get proficient in, in getting it set up, which should only take a couple of minutes, I should be getting somewhere around 15 minutes flight time. Uh, plus I have an extra battery uh, and that'll give me another 15 minutes. So one shot I should be able to, to use this drone for about 30 minutes at, at a time. Uh, Fred and I are going on vacation next month and we're going to, to Fripp Island and I'm, I look forward to taking it uh, uh, to the coast with us and, and doing some video uh, there at the beach. Uh, now I've brought the, the, the drone back behind the church with me and I'm just playing with it in the parking lot now just uh, seeing how maneuverable it is. It is a brushed motor drone. It does not have brushless motors but it really does, um, it really does respond well to the controls on the remote uh, to be a brush drone. Uh, brush motors, uh, you know, will run you another 20 to 50 bucks if you buy a drone with brush motors. A lot quieter, a lot more powerful, but uh, this is a great drone. For a hundred bucks, uh, this is a DJI Mavic clone. Uh, Ishin clones the DJI drones and, and that DJI Mavic is, you know, anywhere from 400 to 1500 bucks depending on what you get. This drone, for less than a hundred bucks is a great little drone. I've never flown a drone that flies and responds to the controls as best as this does, as good as this does, and gets the kind of altitude and range that this does. So anyway, if you're looking for a drone, uh, you can't go wrong with Eosheen. They've got several models and uh, they start at about 30 bucks and, and run up to about 200. So thanks for watching my video.